fake it. Burrow through the hands. Irv Smith Jr., the new tight end. And I'm not sure he would have had a first down even coming down with it because of the coverage. Watch to the outside, number 21 in Brown. Denzel Ward is all over that play, and he has the angle to cut Irv Smith off, even if he catches it and tries to turn up field. The point was moot because the ball went through his hands. All of them have been runs. Third down and three. Did we get a play clock again? Because that's the back judge coming forward. So the play was whistled dead. Another penalty marker. Feels like a delay, but now a conversation. That's what Jonah Monroe, the back judge, was signaling as he ran towards the line of scrimmage. It was delay, but now he's having a conversation with Cleve Blakeman, as you indicated. Well, I think there might be an issue with the play clock if there was a reset. And we saw Zach Taylor react. Play. The play clock reset to 40 seconds. It's still third down. Well, they've got to establish someone else in that role. P. Run is now in Denver. Burrow lefts it. Higgins got a hand on it, but could not haul it in. Denzel Ward with the coverage. First time that Higgins has been involved here for Cincinnati. From the first snap, the coverage of these Browns defensive backs has been exemplary. They have been in position. They have been all over these receivers. If you're going to catch the ball against them, they're going to make it a difficult catch. He'll play through the whistle. Third and ten. Burrow out of the pocket. Looks underneath throw. It's going to be short. Irv Smith Jr. makes the grab, the tight end. They pick up eight yards. <laughs> no Cincinnati's answer was on that play with Garrett. Chip him. Now your boy. Burrow, short pass handled by Mixon. Good cut by Mixon. Close to the first down, not enough. Denzel did to get that first down is a high number. At the sticks, Chase. He's right there. And it's enough to move the chains. They kept him away from the... Only six first downs. Burrow's throw. Felt like it was low, and it was. Trying to get it to T. Higgins. That got there on a bounce. And still no catches, correct, for T. Higgins correct. in this ballgame. And we've seen this throughout. Between Joe Burrow and Deshaun Watson, a number of throws that are just dying at the end. Second and ten. Rush coming. Burrow bounces off the hand of Chase. And Burrow got bulldozed by Delpit. And here comes more bodies at Joe Burrow. That extra guy coming in on a delayed blitz. Grant Delpit the safety. Quick route. Ball can't get there because he doesn't have enough time. This has lost more by their own errors in this game. Thoroughly beaten by Cleveland. That's a little bit different what they're taking with them out of game one this year than it was last year. Chase and Ward, the matchup, and Ward wins the battle. Pass from Browning took a little while to get there. That is the seventh three and out of the day for the Cincinnati offense. And look who's applying the pressure, Miles Garrett. Look at the play on the corner, Denzel Ward. At the end of every year, these coaches all go out and go to clean. Move the pocket a little bit. Give him an easy completion. This is broken up. Robinson the target and Denzel Ward about as good as he gets at corner. The two-time Pro Bowler knocked it away, so third down and three. Well, right idea. I think it's a pretty good release. And then Denzel Ward couldn't tell if he got. Just seemed like the ball was maybe a little bit behind because he's got a step. And if he leads him, that's a chance to catch and run. And if you're off the mark with this season, but this Pittsburgh group, they played a little more than most. Pick it with all day. Oshesky lost it. And the Browns end up with a Dell pit after a hit by Ward. Now he loses the ball. And 
it's out of bounds inside the 10 as Maurice Hurst had a shot at it last. But right now the Browns had it and fumbled it out of bounds. Well, the first thing we have to establish is whether Olszewski actually well, had possession. The ball was intercepted by Cleveland, then fumbled forward and out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland's ball at the spot of the last fumble. Ron Torbert says interception. Olszewski got hit in the chest by Denzel Ward. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. We bring John in and ask him as well, to whether or not. It's certainly not an interception. No, the ball. No, absolutely so that, not. That's a misspeak. The yeah, it's got to be a catch. John, is that a football move? Here it is. Catch. Looking upfield. The hit by Ward. It's not an interception. It's not an interception. I'm not certain it's a catch. But they're ruling. They'll, they'll review it, of course. Change of possession. They'll be looking at it upstairs. They're reviewing. They have to look at it. And it would be catch and fumble. Recovered by Delpit, who then later fumbled it out of bounds. And they're marking it at the 23. And there have been four turnovers in this quarter and a missed field goal in one of the crazier quarters we've seen in a long time but they at least right now are showing no indication of giving that in incomplete out of the reach of Pickens well the throw that he made of that boundary to Austin was awfully good and then this is one where you know he knows where he's going with the football it's excellent and he's got good protection and he, you just got to be able to put that on him uh, he's a big target back in 2021 was trying to get that running game going Warren over the right side and he's knocked down by Denzel Ward congratulations that other game is a final congrats to the New Orleans Saints who climbed to 2 and 0 with a win in Carolina Blitz coming from the Browns. Quick throw. Pickens tried to jump up. May have gotten an extra yard. Ward is out there defending. Well, they've turned some. They've, they've turned some rushers loose. They they go with a five-down defensive front, and it forces everybody then to block one-on-one. -on -one, and you've got to then account. And Najee Harris, he gets lost, so he doesn't pick up the free runner inside and gets a free run then at Kenny Pickett right in the pocket. But he got the ball out, and I'm not sure that's, I'm not sure that's a great technique to end that play. And a career-high 104 yards on three catches. Highlighted by the 71-yard touchdown, and now incomplete. Blanket coverage by Denzel Ward all over George Pickens. Yeah, Denzel Ward coming into this game last last year Denzel Ward and Emerson and then Newsom they, they would interchange a little bit they would match up they'd play both Garrett coming off the edge Pickett has to throw it away Miles Garrett comes up gimpy after that play there's a lot of injuries in this plot here he is here coming off the edge. They got the back Najee Harris to his side. Do you think that maybe he might help out a little bit, but he, he releases immediately on the check down and Kenny Pickett feels him the speed coming off the edge. Cleveland showing pressure. Tannehill rolls out, fires and completes. Traylon Burks making the catch. Tannehill getting it out quickly again, and they're going backwards again. Okonkwu just never had a chance. What a play by Denzel Ward. Oh, Sparrow, we, the front has had a noticeable impact. The other thing I've noticed from this defense is how confident the back end, how confident they're playing. Much different. Last year, they were passive. They were reactive.
this year they are confident. They know the ball is coming out, and they have simply something good to happen to their offense. It would have been a 27-yard completion. Second down, Tannehill slinging it over the middle, incomplete. Traylon Burks, boy, had it, couldn't squeeze it. What a play by Denzel Ward. Uh, Ward has is, is, is always been exceptional, and I just, even th this year, playing at a high level, his ability to play the ball, and when you watch this, this secondary, uh, they've been confident going after the ball with pass breakups. Uh, they're playing an aggressive style. The thinking plays when their offense needed some big plays last week. They're delivering here. Tannehill to the end zone, batted down and incomplete. Anthony Walker. Thought he had a chance at a pick. 19 seconds. One timeout left for Vrabel as we take another look. Nice job reading the eyes, and, and Tannehill is one of those quarterbacks who is, is plays beyond the offensive line with some of the new faces that they brought in, like DeAndre Hopkins. Henry. Just again having to fight so hard for men. It is a non-factor. And if Tannehill doesn't have that play action, he's just not the same quarterback. Here he is taking a shot. Boy, that pass. Purdy, pressure, steps back, throws it deep. Ayuk had it in his hands, couldn't bring it in. Pretty good throw, and Denzel Ward on the coverage. And the Niners will have to punt it away. Yeah, great job there by Purdy, just getting that ball out. He gave Ayuk a chance. Really nice job, well timed. Denzel Ward got there just as that ball got to IU. Pretty bang bang. I think that's a play. Stunt coming, picked up. Purdy going deep for Kittle and threw it over the wrong shoulder. Some miscommunication there, and it's incomplete. That'll bring up third and long. Yeah, I I, I just think that ball got away from him. I think it's getting wet down there. I yeah. think it's raining. This was supposed to be a little seam go route by Kittle, and I think this ball just comes out of his hand. And he just loses it to the boundary. I don't know that they're in field goal range right now, considering the rain and considering on the fake. Purdy with pressure, throws on the run. you diving, just couldn't bring it in. Would have been a great catch, and it's second and 10. And again, the injuries today, big. Man to man again. Going deep, far side of the field, incomplete. Ayuk was blanketed that time by Denzel Ward. And it's. Pretty quick throw. Ayuk on the slant and gets right to the 35. Tough to take care of the football. So Moss is going to bounce it to the outside. So from that report, according to what Kevin Stefanski told the beat, he certainly sounds like Watson's day. Four catches, Michael Pittman just once. So far, third down, Minshew buying some time, and that oh one is picked off. Denzel Ward, the electrifying corner for the Browns, with another takeaway for this Cleveland defense. 16 on the return. And those takeaway floodgates have really opened. Boy, he has become one of the elite cover corners in the sport. And he capitalizes on the Minshew mistake, stepping into the passing lane in front of Pittman. Denzel Ward. Geno Smith floats it, end zone, Metcalf too long, and it'll be third down and goal. So Cleveland win it. Geno Smith with time, finds Lockett, and he gets tackled inbounds. Geno Smith again, running out of time, gets out of the pocket, throws to the end zone, dangerous pass, and it's incomplete for Metcalf. Denzel Ward was right there. Second down and 10, clock stops 44 seconds. Yeah, you, you got to put that ball up high. You know, you cannot put it where he put it right here. It's got to be up a little bit higher. And, and I don't even know if you make that throw against Denzel Ward. You can either run a screen or a draw, but you can't make a big mistake. It's exactly what they do here. Screen pass underneath. 
See a late flag here thrown from the Browns secondary as Denzel Ward makes the open field tackle on Tony Jones Jr. after a pickup only of four. Pass interference, number two offense. Penalties declined. Results of the play, fourth down. That's Hollywood. Um, a big play. Automatic first down. They push him out to the 40 yard line. Two. Oh, oh my goodness. Pass and it's intercepted. Denzel Ward, the all pro corner, had that one gifted. Well, Sparrow, it was gifted by the overthrow, but this is an athletic interception. Uh, mm. Air mailed by Toon. What a play with Ward snatching it. Bowler a couple years ago, second and 23 after the penalty. Quick, shallow drop as they complete near side to Hollywood Brown. So they're going to be faced with a third and long. They've got to find a way to threaten outside the numbers. Toon's pass play, that was nearly picked. Denzel Ward jumping the passing lane as Hollywood Brown was the intended receiver. You know what, you're, if you watch film, you're probably not going to catch a slant on Ward. I'm just, not a high likelihood. You know, you've got to get Ward with three wide receivers in a bunch. Jonathan Gannon says, let's go for it, why not? Penalty flags, whistle the play dead. As Toon was looking back in the direction of Brown. Offense, five-yard penalty, fourth down. Adam, they just can't play after a rough opening drive. Little trickery to Pickens. Hurdles and hit from the side. Brought down at the 35-yard line by Greg Newsom the second. Denzel Ward, first man over there. It's a loss of one. Yeah, what they're trying to do is have this fast-flowing uh, Cleveland defense make an initial false step so you can get blocking angles on them. But they are so fast and, and, and able to make the move. And Denzel Ward not fooled. And George Pickens going with the Pittsburgh motion man is Austin Pickett. Incomplete. He was looking for Pickens and words being exchanged with him and Grant Delpit. Miles Garrett is back out there. That ball, let's see if it was tipped. Yeah, yep. just enough. Right through. Was that Shelby Harris again? Yes. Getting another one. Another pass broken up. And that's part of the problem for Pittsburgh. Last week against Green Bay, they went eight straight possessions. Pittsburgh taking over with Najee Harris in the backfield. Harris keeps those legs moving. And carries for five yards on first down. Tackle made by Denzel Ward along with Dalvin Tomlinson. We check in with Evan. Well, I'm Brown's defensive signal caller, Anthony Walker Jr. Currently in the locker room. He's dealing with a hit. We'll call it third and four. Shotgun. Pick it. Let's it fly. Helmet flies off. Najee Harris stuck by Ward short of the first down. Denzel Ward is not your cover corner of the vintage of I just take people out of the ball game and that's all I do. Watch him come up on this play and hit the powerful 230 pound running back listed at 242. So let's split the difference, but it doesn't matter. Ward. Listed 190. Of course, the late Dan Rooney served as the new ambassador to Ireland. Throw downfield. Knocked away at the last moment. Deontay Johnson, the intended target. And Cleveland makes the play defensively. As this game goes on, keep your eyes on the perimeter of this game. Especially when Pittsburgh has the football. Cleveland's defensive backs believe they can cover anyone, any place, any time. Pittsburgh's off. One minute to go on the third. Ticket fires, nobody home. Johnson was making his way up the field. Ticket threw it to a spot. And a very quiet three and out after the turnover for the Steelers. And they went hurry up on third down, but it didn't feel like they were in control of the hurry up. Everything felt rushed. And then here comes the extra pressure out of Jim Schwartz throws the extra people. Fields looking for more well covered Denzel Ward running stride for stride with DJ Moore no chance to get him the football and on comes the field goal team well it's best cornerback versus best receiver 21 Denzel Ward versus number two DJ Moore good on good 
He loved it. He tried to take the shot, but the ball not quite close enough. Got to settle for a field goal. But that play before. I... <laughs> Dick Enberg for seventh most all time in the play by play chair. Justin Fields hit as he throws and the wobbler incomplete. That pressure from Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa right in the face of Justin Fields. 8.34 to go in its second down. Well, watch. Owusu Koromoa, he's going to fire as soon as he realizes the halfback Roshan Johnson's blocking. And he's the one who affects that throw. I'm just shocked they weren't running the ball. Trying to run out this clock. They've had some. He came in with three and a half sacks. He's got two today. Keenum, outside throw. There is Schultz. Stumbles for a couple of extra yards. Cleveland thought he was out of bounds, and the officials actually out there. So they're not thrilled about this. Bills on second down. Jumping the route. Denzel Ward. And it's broken up with a minute 57 on the clock. Cleveland trying to put this one away. They've got a 36-22. This team up. Nick Casario, the GM. Mills fires it. Incomplete. To the outside. Nice movement again. The, the field does him in. Jason Brownlee. A lot of, not a lot of slipping and sliding tonight, but enough rain here yesterday. Fields covered and all yeah. that, but the, the field a little damp. Yeah, he's going up against Denzel Ward, and I, I, I was really impressed when I talked with Jim Schwartz, and he's, he's, I, I don't know if I've ever heard him more excited. Eating my candy corn, doing the whole thing. Dog on the loose. Second and 14 to the 24-yard line goes Brees Hall. Best in, in December, the Rams certainly are. Backhanded catch. Grabbed here, gain of about nine yards by. Brown through his progressions, lofts it. Into double coverage, incomplete. Back to Brown. Dangerous throw from Stroud, and it's fourth down. Yeah, this is man-free coverage, and the free safety was just sitting there waiting. Juan Thornhill, watch number one. His eyes are on the quarterback. Everybody else is locked in on a receiver. And C.J. very lucky that that one didn't get picked off. This Cleveland Brown defense best in the NFL on third down. And right now struggling a bit on the road have already allowed 181 through the air by Stroud and around a Mechie. And he will slide forward across the 35 down to the 37. 